Hello everyone, I'm Andre, Developer Evangelist at Content by Kentigo, and today I want to tell you how to properly handle URL Slack changes in Next.js. Now, first of all, why should we care about URL Slacks? Every content item that is stored in the headless CMS and you are actually storing it or displaying it as a page in your site implementation contains a URL slug. Now the problem is when editor comes into that content item, changes the URL slug and your site implementation um, just takes the change, rebuilds the page and the old page, the old URL slug just ceases to exist. The problem is if that page used to have a good page rank um, on search engines or you use that page in your marketing campaigns, um, all those visitors that are using that URL will now get 404 errors. And these days you cannot really afford confused uh, visitors, right? So what we need to do is First, we need to know for every page, every content item, we need to know the URL slug history. You see here, uh, the example is that the current page has a URL slug hello TypeScript Congress, but in the past it used to have a URL slug TypeScript Congress and hello conference. We need to know the history in order to be able to issue the redirects properly. Next thing is, for the Next.js, now we're going to be using Next.js and content in this example, but if you're using different framework, uh, you can apply the same principles there. Here we're just talking about Next.js. So we have two methods. We have get static paths and get static props. In get static paths, we need to provide all the URL slugs where there is a page for us to generate. In that case, we need to provide all the three URL slugs. So that's the history ones and the current ones as well. And the last step, the third step is to add a proper redirect in get static props. There we need to find out based on the slug whether this is a current slug, like the Hello TypeScript Congress, which is the target page, or whether the slug that we're using is a historic one and we should redirect the visitor to a current page. In this case, that would be the TypeScript Congress Hello Conferences, which will issue redirects. So how can we do this in Next.js? Let's take a look. Let's start in content first. Uh, on the content side of things, I prepared um, one content type called conference. And when you look at the content item that's already using that content type, <clears throat> uh, you see in uh, content, we have a special uh, URL slug history custom element that you can use on your project. Um, it's uh, uh, available open source, so you can just deploy it to Netlify or Versal and use it just like I'm using it here. And uh, it actually tracks all the changes you do to a URL slug. So you see here, now the URL slug is TypeScript Congress 2022. If I change it to TypeScript Congress, it automatically uh, registers the change. And when I publish the page, it's gonna store uh, the change within the content item, right? So you see this is in the history. Now, we can do this as many times as we want. We're just gonna get the list of strings out of the API, but this is the first step. You need to know all the URL slugs, the historic ones and the current ones. Now let's take a look at the implementation. In Next.js, I have a simple page slug TSX. Now this whole thing is based on a Next.js content boilerplate, so there's not a ton of functionality, but here you see there are two, uh, two methods. Uh, get static paths, get static props. And as I mentioned in the presentation at the start, you need to provide all the paths to get static paths uh, or as a result to, to Next.js. And in get static props, you need to issue the redirect if it's, um, uh, if it's uh, a page that should be redirected. So here we just need to do one simple change and uh, add to the elements parameter, add the history as well. So before, we were only using the URL slug, but now we want to use the URL slug history as well to get really all the paths. And now we need to get all the paths in a simple, simple list, right? Now, the thing is, if we only get the paths in get static props, we would have to do one additional API check with the content API to see if the slug is a historic one or a current one. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a list of all the slugs and all the current slugs that they should redirect to. Now I'm gonna do the implementation here. I'm gonna fast forward and then I'm gonna explain the code in a second. Right, so what I implemented here is we're getting all paths from the uh, content CMS and uh, we're actually providing uh, all those paths back as an iPage path structure, which you can see is contains just two properties, path and redirects to. Path is the URL slug, 
the current one and redirects to is in case we're working with the historic path um, here we're gonna hold the current path of any page so you see that for uh, the actual item coming from content we're providing a path that is the current path of the item the one of the published uh, version of the page and then we're creating a structure of the historic paths historic slugs and uh, they redirect all to the current page path now the problem is we cannot really take the whole structure and provide it to Next.js um, so that we get it and get static props. The reason is Next.js will only allow us to uh, transfer the slug because it's in the file name. It's the variable um, on the way to, to the page, right? So we're not going to be able to transfer this to get static props and avoid the performance problems. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a workaround uh, suggested by Versal where we're just going to take all the paths, we're going to serialize them into a physical file, and then we're going to take that file in, back in get static props. Um, so I'm just going to, again, do the implementation and fast forward. Now you see here that I'm storing all the paths in the cache. Uh, the last thing I need to do here is to provide all the slugs, right? This is the second point from the presentation. We need to get all the paths, historic ones and current ones, um, and return it back to Next.js here, because we're just telling Next.js on this path, there is not a 404, there is a, there is a page here. And now we need to do the third step, and that is issue a proper redirect if we find out we should. So in this case, uh, we're just taking the path from cache, and if there is a page that should be redirected, it will have the redirects to filled, because these are all the historic URL slugs, and we need to redirect them to this path. So we can do a simple condition here, if path redirects to exists, in that case, we want to do the redirect. So we're going to return uh, a return uh, redirect object. And the redirect object uh, only needs to contain a destination and uh, permanent. So permanent, if, if you want to do 307 or 308, 308 redirect, based on that, set the permanent field. I want uh, permanent to be true. And in the destination, just uh, remember if you're in the subfolder or if you're in the root, um, this is going to be destination from the root of your uh, site. So in my case, it's just a slash and path it redirects to. So let's save this. Um, there is still a problem here under get static paths. Right. Uh, I forgot. Yes, there is path dot path because here we're getting just the object. So we want the, the slug in there. Now this is fine. So let's try to run the site. And let's go back to the browser and refresh this page. Now the current URL slug is TypeScript Congress. So on that page, on that URL slug, we should have the TypeScript Congress page. So you see this is working. And the previous slug was TypeScript Congress 2022. So if we append here 2022, we should get redirected to TypeScript Congress. So it works as expected. Now the implementation isn't ideal, to be honest but uh, uh, it works this way and uh, lets us you know put everything in order and does not that's the most important thing it does not require editors to do any extra steps it just works and that's all for me if you uh, want to get uh, more information about uh, this solution or you want to share your experience handling url slacks then uh, definitely reach out to me uh, you can find me on twitter and i hope you enjoyed the rest of the conference <laughs>